We read the other day that most people listen with the sense to respond. Hi, John Stanley here. Thank you for dropping by, and we surely hope that all is well with you. Do you find yourself listening to respond when somebody is telling you something? Not necessarily to learn something new or to understand, but we listen to somebody's story, and we're going to respond to their story. You see, we live in a world where we're bombarded, bombarded with messages. I read the other day where the average person receives over 7,000 messages a day. And think of all the commercials we see on television programs and all the signs we see on the highway and on the byways. And we're just bombarded with messages and messages and messages. 7,000 is a lot of information. And when we listen to somebody, we want them to be quick. We want them to get to the point and not just ramble around and around. Listening, listening. Can we pause, pause for a time? Can we slow down? Can we pay attention to the other person? Can we truly listen? You see, it seems that when we truly listen to someone, when we open our ears to learn something new, it's wonderful for all that wisdom and wonder that we are learning something new. Listening, listening can build the bridge. Listening can cause us to reach a, across the proverbial fence to learn something new. We have a great model for listening. Jesus. Jesus listened to the woman at the well. Jesus listened to Nicodemus late at night. And in Matthew, the fourth chapter, Jesus instructs us, let anyone with ears hear. Let anyone with ears ears hear. Listen. One of the philosophers and theologians says the first duty of love is to listen. Would you ponder with me for a moment with that? The first duty of love is to listen. Thank you for your time today. We sure hope that you feel the presence of God holding you in the palm of his hand while we're separated one from the other. We sure look forward to seeing you soon. And let's remember, the first duty of love is to listen. Thanks be to God. Take care.